Hello everyone again. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you another winning demo from the recent internal Definity Hackathon. Um, actually, this team uh, is, uh, is external, but they, they got invited in because along with a few other um, sort of leading community members, they actually you know, contribute to the internet computer directly. The team is of course open chat um, and their demo is a framework that allows you to, if you're a DAP developer, to require that your users um, additionally associate um, things from the uh, off-chain world, such as phone numbers and email addresses. And, um, you know, this is something you can't otherwise do. So on the internet computer, users authenticate themselves to DAPs using something called internet identity. Internet identity is an anonymizing blockchain authentication system. And um, you can create uh, any number of what of, uh, uh, any number of um, IIs, which stand for internet identities. Um, you can create any number of II handles. And to an II handle, you can add any number of devices that support this protocol called WebAuthn. So for example, you might add the fingerprint sensor on your laptop. You might add the face ID biometric system on your phone. You might add a YubiKey, you might add a Ledger wallet. And, um, you know, once you've done that, and let's say, you've, you know, you've signed up to um, something like OpenChat uh, using an internet identity handle, that means that, you know, immediately you can both log into OpenChat on your laptop using the fingerprint sensor and, log into open chat using face ID. Um, it's a very secure system, um, integrates with uh, you know, special hardware um, that is tamp tamp resistant and keeps your key pair inside. Um, for example, you know, the fingerprint sensor on this MacBook is um, reliant on something called TPM. And in actual fact, you know, when I'm hitting that fingerprint sensor, um, when I'm logging into open chat, say, um, you know, uh, a, a session key is put inside this TPM chip um, where it's signed um, upon me hitting the fingerprint sensor and the biometric thing matching. And um, that's what enables me to, to interact with uh, OpenChat. Now, um, it's anonymizing because that's the baseline you want to start at. And in fact, um, when you, you know, use an internet identity handle to log into different dApps, all of those dApps are seeing, seeing a different pseudonym um, so you can't be tracked. Um, now, um, that's a you know obviously a great fundamental uh, identity system to have, um, and it, it you, uh, it's arguably you know revolutionary. It works by relying on um, the, the chain key cryptography capabilities of the internet computer blockchain, um, which made it make it possible for an internet identity to be created, which is really a certification of a list of devices. Now. Um, some DAP developers, though, um, want their users to be anchored to or associated with um, various things in the off-chain world, such as phone numbers and email addresses, or say even a Facebook account or something like that. And uh, there are lots of reasons, you know, a DAP develop developer might want to do that. Um, they might want to do that to... Um, stop a user creating too many sock puppets, right? Because you can create any number of IIs, internet identities that you like. So you might, you know, um, you know have 10 different accounts on Discover, um, all with different personalities, some also trolling sock puppet, puppet for when you're angry and then your main one or something like that. So you might you might decide that you don't want that and, and actually you prefer, um, you know, uh, each user to only have one account and so therefore you're going to try and anchor it with um, phone numbers and email addresses and Facebook accounts and things like that. Or it might just be that, you know, uh, you want to send notifications to the person's phone. So you want to make sure that there's a phone number associated with the account um, or optionally. So um, the Open Chat guys have um, set themselves to this task and they've created a framework in this demo that um, will enable uh, DAP developers to um, add just that kind of capability when they need it. Um, so um, this is a very, very talented team, as everyone knows. 
Um, all kinds of wonderful things are coming uh, down the pipe with respect to open chat. Um, as I speak, I think the alpha service is bearing down on 50,000 users. My, my prediction is it's going to explode and will be in the many hundreds of thousands but by the end of the year when certain things are turned on. Um, and this team, you know, not only works on open chat, but they also make a lot of contributions, to, in, invaluable contributions to uh, various aspects of the internet, computer, blockchain, um, uh, in, infrastructure. You know, I, some of them, for example, have worked on the um, network nervous system, front end app, things like that. So without further ado, uh, let's have a look at the demo. We do have a UI. Uh, this is the UI for it. Um, let me first by start by saying what it is. It's a, a hopefully be an open internet service uh, and it has a couple of different functions. First of all, it can be used um, standalone mode, which is what we'll demo first, which is a, as a place to, reposit, uh, to deposit your personal information. Basically things that you want to keep um, private, but you sometimes need to share with other apps. Um, so we just log in standalone using internet identity as normal. We're running a, a, on the test net at the moment, so this is going to be a slightly different version of the internet identity, but for our purposes, it will be basically the same. Um, so what we should see once this is signed in is just a, a simple repository where we can record pieces of information about us, which we want to associate with our identity. Um, so for example, I could record my email address. And this is not just going to be me writing this down and saying that's true. We also have a verification process, which is another po important point. So that's sent, sent a code now to my email address, hopefully. Yes. So I can then enter into privacy. You can say priv IC if you enjoy puns, but or privacy, whichever you prefer. And that's now a verified email address. Now you wouldn't ordinarily come into this, probably. And this brings me on to the second purpose for this service, and that as an as an integration with other DApps. So we've created a version of Open Chat which integrates with this. So Open Chat and many other apps probably will need to control who logs in and, and, and verify to some extent they're a real person because obviously supporting these accounts and supporting these users costs you money. So open chat, for example, at the moment is about to introduce a policy whereby we need to know that the user has a verified phone number. So when we sign in, it's going to look like it's signing into internet identity as normal. But what's actually happening behind the scenes is that we're going via the privacy service and that's sitting in as a middleman. And when we get back to open chat, we'll see that the privacy API is being hosted here inside an iframe within open chat. And it's telling us that open chat has expressed that it would like some access to our personal data. Um, in this case, we need at least one verified phone number. Uh, we, we could we could imagine expressing all sorts of different policies with different apps you might need to have an email address or uh, a verified social media account or a bank account we need a minimum age all sorts we, we've just implemented phone number and email for now so i haven't got this i can't meet these requirements at the moment so i need to go ahead and um, enter this so this is the that's my phone number and you'll have to trust me that I'm going to get a message here. Bing. And the code is 6032. So I'm doing this in line within, within open chat in an iframe pointing at. And now, now we can now it says that the requirements are met. And at this point, it's doing some um, delegation uh, to send us back to open chat having established that we've met the requirements for open chat and there we go we can see we're in open chat this is a kind of early version of v2 if i log out and sign back into open chat this time around One because minute. i've already entered that information the requirements that uh, open chat has will already be met
and we see that immediately it's already telling us that we've got the requirements met and it will just do the delegation as before and we'll go straight back into open chat and then if i just quickly refresh the screen over here in the standalone mode we can see that that phone number that I added and verified in line has appeared now and that's associated with my identity and I can delete that whenever I feel like it. You could have multiple connected apps that would all display here and I can see if any of these apps have asked for full access to that data, then it will show here or I can even grant and revoke full access here myself. So I've got complete control over my data. Um, the apps I use never even need to see it potentially. Um, and we think that's going to be a good thing and useful to many apps in the ecosystem. Well, that's it. Thank you.